antisense oligonucleotides are a very specific uh, method for lowering um, or regulating gene expression uh, in, uh, in, in, in the organism. Gene therapy is a much broader term, and in my book would even uh, comprise uh, antisense oligonucleotides. Um, and I think uh, antisense oligonucleotides are particularly advanced in the in the development um, because they're in very comparatively old uh, methodology. And people will forgive me that I use that uh, term "old" here, but uh, so they have a as a as an approach as a methodology and uh, have a comparatively well known. Um, uh, safety profile. Their uh, the the effects are self limited. Whereas with certain forms of gene therapy, um, while the prospect of using gene therapy is very appealing, because you could, if you use let's say virally permanently expressed uh, uh, interventions, it would be a one time um, delivery. Uh, however, as long as we're still developing these approaches uh, from a safety standpoint, it's uh, it's nice to do the first steps or advisable to do the first steps with more uh, limited approaches. So I don't think that the two approaches are um, mutually exclusive, but um, uh, gene therapy is the broader term uh, will potentially have a, a a longer future than antisense oligonucleotides. However, antisense oligonucleotides are more likely to have the immediate um, payoffs that we're seeking.